In the secret stories of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, there is one tale that is undoubtedly the saddest. The story of a man who lost his rose. It begins in the farmlands of Oxenfordshire, as Eivor stumbles upon an elderly man who mistakes him for his daughter. If only Rose were here, she'd help me. Having trouble, farmer. Rose? Is that you? It is. My daughter, my child! I can scarcely believe it! You are a little confused. I've been longing to speak to you again. I have never spoken to you before. Rose, Rose, do not jest with your father and his failing eyes. Very well. It is good to see you again. Such a pleasure to have you at my side, Rose. But I'm so tired, so very tired. I cannot move these crates to shelter. Yes, Rose, right there. You were always very clever, child. Put the others there as well. Rose, you've grown up to be quite strong. That's the last of them. Come join me, Rose. It's been ages since we had a chat. White roses. Once we named you, it became your mother's favorite flower. The rose bush we planted by your mother's grave has grown all the way up the old oak tree. You remember? Just outside there. Rose, you're such a help. Let us reminisce, shall we? The tale of how I courted your mother. Why not? You never tire of that one. Well, as a young man, I was sent to a great lord to help with his livestock. That first day, I brought the cows in from the field, and there was this milkmaid, her smile like sunshine in a storm. I fancied her. She fancied me. We found our way to a storeroom to make better acquaintance. And then? What? Oh, uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, what, what was I saying? Ah, your mother and I in the storeroom. <laughs> yes, uh, well, the Lord wandered in and caught us making merry. He fell into a dark rage and raised his axe and me wearing nothing but a smile. Your mother had a quick wit. Why, master, she said, this boy can fetch you more milk than you'd ever have use for. Well, the Lord liked his milk, so says he, bring me this milk and perhaps I'll show mercy. We threw in our smocks and ran for the cow pen, we milked the cows in a frenzy and carried back two buckets. The Lord spooned off some cream to taste. Satisfied, he had his servant set the milk in the shade and declared more. In a thrice, master, your mother said, and we ran outside. How will we get more, I asked. The cows are spent. <laughs> uh. 
I must know what happened. Yes? Oh. <clears throat> the cows are spent. Your mother bade me not to be a ninny. She led me in a circle back to the buckets in the shade. We'll bring him these again, and call them new. So we brought the master the same milk again. Again he was pleased. Again he asked for more. And again we circled around. Soon, the master had ten buckets by his count. So he gave us his blessing. We ran for the stables, stole a horse, and never looked back. Not long after, you were born. The pinkest little babe a father could hope for. We named you Rose. After the cow. That reminds me. Your mother's ring. She wanted you to have it. Here. I... I do not know what to say. You should keep it to remember. Mother. Such a sweet girl. I'll bequeath it to you when the time comes. I must go. Father, take care. Such a delight to see you, Rose. Come back soon. After hearing the tale from the man himself and reading the notes inside his home, you can head to the old oak tree with the white roses and find out exactly what happened to Rose. After this, you have another opportunity to speak to the old man and maybe take that ring, if only so that you, Eivor, can remember. returned. Sit with me. I'll tell you a tale from my youth. There's the time I caught your mother with a blacksmith. Oh, oh my yes. That's quite a story. And he never sat down again. That reminds me. Your mother's ring. She wanted you to have it. Here. Thank you, Father. It will remind me of Mother, always. <laughs> 